Hi friends, welcome to SGK English for a new video. IELTS preparation episode 9, writing task 1 and 2. Uh, let us come to the lesson directly. I hope you have gone through the previous videos all. I expect all of you to read or watch from or study from first video to ninth video. If you have not seen the previous videos, please watch it please. So let us come to the lesson directly. If you are going to any coaching center or if you are getting the uh, help of an instructor, when you write an essay and show it to him, generally he would say, uh, your sentences are too simple. Uh, write some complex sentences, uh, compound sentences, etc. and etc. So something serious, something, some packed sentences you are supposed to write, not mere simple sentences. In this lesson, let us learn uh, what is meant by uh, complex, compound and simple. Simple, complex and compound sentences. Let us see what is a complex sentence. Take a simple example. See, uh, when I went to Cochin, I bought a, a book, maybe a dictionary, maybe something else. See, when I went to Cochin, I bought a book. So it is a sentence, as you know. A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. But in this sentence, you can find two group of words. When I went to Cochin, number one, I bought a book, number two. The idea I want to convey is that, not that I went to Cochin, but that I bought a book. Not that it is more important or it has any more significance. The importance is that this group of words can stand by its own. I repeat, if you say, I bought a book, the meaning is complete or the meaning is clear. Whereas, when you say, when I went to Cochin, you cannot put a full stop there because here is some when. If I say, I went to Cochin, meaning is okay. But when I say, when I went to Cochin, the meaning remains incomplete. If the meaning is to be completed, you have to add this sentence also. When I went to Cochin, I bought a book. So the main idea and the main verb is this, I bought. So it is a main verb and this clause is a main clause or principal clause. As it is subordinated to this clause, it is called as a subordinate clause. Main clause and subordinate clause. Connected together or joined together by a subordinating conjunction. What kind of conjunction? Subordinating conjunction. Yes. So, conjunctions are, do you know how many types? Actually, four types are there. Subordinating, coordinating, correlative and compound. Here we study subordinating conjunction. It connects or joins a subordinate close to a main close. Subordinating conjunction. Take some other examples here. Subordinating conjunction. If, if you work hard, you can get first rank or first class even. When, uh, when I even do, when I like to or whatever be. Because I could not come to school yesterday because I was not feeling well. I could not attend the examination because I was not feeling well. Although, although I came late, I could attend the class. Although, even though. As, as he was tired. Since, since he was tired. Anything, many are there. Subordinating conjunction. So, when a subordinating conjunction is, I mean, connected to a main clause by a Sorry, a subordinate clause is connected to a main clause by a 
subordinating conjunction it is known as a complex sentence is it clear to you when a subordinate clause is connected to a main clause by a subordinating conjunction it is known as a, a complex sentence take another example i went to a shop i bought a book i went to a shop i bought a book two simple sentences so i put an and here I went to a shop and bought a book. Here two clauses are there, but one is not subordinated to the other. Both are main clauses. Both are main clauses. If two or more main clauses are connected together by a coordinating conjunction. If two or more main clauses are connected together by a coordinating conjunction it is known as a compound sentence this is complex compound sentence see coordinating conjunction examples and but therefore so or for many are there so subordinating conjunctions and coordinating conjunctions yes using a coordinating conjunction you can connect two or more main clauses. Such kind of sentences are known as a compound sentence. Then what is a simple sentence? A sentence which has only one finite verb in it. A sentence which has only one finite verb in it is called uh, what is it? A simple sentence. Take for example, for example, birds fly. It is a simple sentence. Not because it has only two words one finite verb in it see what is my finite verb a verb which has a v1 v2 v3 regular verb it is called a finite verb okay v1 v2 v3 you know it very well okay now yes that is finite verb so such kind of verb if there is only one it is known as a simple sentence then complex this is example we cannot play when it is raining we cannot play when it is raining you see Complex sentence. When is the subordinating conjunction? Compound. We went to market and bought a book. And is the coordinating conjunction. Now, let us see how to change one type of sentence into another one. Take for example, I was ill. I did not attend the examination. They are two simple sentences. The verb was did not attend, attend. So there are two simple sentences. Can you change them into a complex sentence? Which means, I mean, one subordinate clause, one main clause connected to main clause by a subordinating conjunction. The idea I want to convey is, I did not attend the examination, not I was ill. Okay, I did not attend the examination is the main idea I want to convey. So, I did not attend the examination, why? Because I was ill. Or you can say, because I was ill, I did not attend the examination. Okay, that is complex sentence. In the compound, two main clauses. I was ill, therefore I did not attend the examination. Or I was ill, so I did not attend the examination. That is right. Into simple sentence, not two simple sentences. Into one simple sentence can you change. Which means, this is a finite verb. This should be changed into non-finite. Yes, this is a finite. It should be changed into non-finite. A verb can be changed into non-finite in several ways. Generally in five ways. Number one, present participle. You know it, verb plus ing. Number two, past participle. Verb plus d, e, d, t, e, n, etc. and etc. Infinitive number three, two plus verb. You know it, two plus verb. Then verbal noun or gerund. There is a verb plus ing. 
ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഹി റീഡ്സ് എവറി ഡേ റീഡ്സ് ഈസ് എ വെർബ് റീഡിങ് ഈസ് ഈസ് ഹോബി റീഡിങ് ഈസ് വെർബൽ നൗൺ എ വെർബ് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ആസ് എ നൗൺ ഈസ് നോൺ ആസ് വെർബൽ നൗൺ ഓർ ജെറുണ്ട് ആൻഡ് വൺ മോർ ഈസ് എറ് പെർഫെക്റ്റ് പാർട്ടിസിപ്പിൾ ഹാവിങ് പ്ലസ് വി ത്രീ ഹാവിങ് ഗോൺ ഹാവിങ് സീൻ ഇസ് ഇ ഹാവിങ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് എസ് ഇൻ മെനി വെയ്സ് എ വെർബ് ക്യാൻ ബി ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ടു നോൺ ഫൈൻ എയ്റ്റ് ഇഫ് യു വാണ്ട് നോ മോർ അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഗോ ടു എസ് ജി കെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് എലമെൻ്ററി ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഗ്രാമർ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ആർ ദെയർ ഈവൺ ഐ മീൻ സിമ്പിൾ സെനസ് കോംപ്ലക്സ് സെനസ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെനസ് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് വീഡിയോസ് ആർ ദെയർ വൺസ് ഗോ ത്രൂ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് ദാറ്റ് യു വാച്ച് ആൻഡ് ലേൺ സം ഗ്രാമർ ടു ടു റിക്കളക്ട് യുവർ മെമ്മറി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ നോട്ട് എ മസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യുവർ വിഷ് സോ ദിസ് വാ ഷുഡ് ബി ചേഞ്ച് ഹൗ വിൽ യു ചേഞ്ച് ഈ പുട്ട് ഐ ഇഞ്ചി നോട്ട് ഓൾവേസ് ഹിയർ വാസ് പ്ലസ് ഐ ഇഞ്ചി ഇസ് നോട്ട് വാസിംഗ് ബട്ട് ബീയിങ് ബിക്കോസ് വാസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫോം ഓഫ് ബി അമി സാർ വാസ് വെയർ സോ ബീയിങ് ഇൽ ഐ ഡി നോട്ട് അറ്റൻഡ് ദി എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ബീയിങ് ഇൽ ഐ ഡി നോട്ട് അറ്റൻഡ് ദി എക്സാമിനേഷൻ യെസ് ദറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് സോ ടേക്ക് അതർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഐ വാസ് ഇൽ ഐ അറ്റൻഡ് ദി എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഐ ഡി നോട്ട് അറ്റൻഡ് കാതു ഐ അറ്റൻഡ് ദി എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഐ വാസ് ഇൽ ടു സിമ്പിൾ സെൻറ്റൻസ് ദ ആർ ടു മീനിങ് ഇസ് ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് is he uh, how will you make into complex sentence though i was ill or even though i was ill i attended the examination even though i was ill i attended the examination yes that is complex compound i was ill but i attended the examination see but i attended the examination look here സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഴിഞ്ഞ് വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ഈഫ് വെൻ ബിക്കോസ് ഓൾ ദോ ആസ് സിൻസ് ദർ ഓൾ സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ബട്ട് ദർ ഫോർ സോ ഓർ ഫോർ എക്സെട്രാ ദർ ഓൾ കോ ഓർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഡി നോ ഹൗ മെനി ടൈപ്സ് ആർ ദർ കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കോ ഓർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കോ റിലേറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് മെനി ടൈപ്സ് ആർ ദർ so here we change i mean this two simple sentences into a compound by but into simple again this should be changed we cannot say being ill i attended the examination it means that whenever you are ill you attend the examination no in spite of being ill meaning should be right now in spite of being ill in spite of plus ing yes i attended the examination in spite of being ill i attended the examination so you should be able to change all these things into other types of sentences just look what we have seen today i mean simple sentences complex sentences compound sentences complex and compound main clause subordinate clause i mean uh, connected by subordinating conjunction remember what is a clause it's a group of words which is a part of a sentence and which has got a subject and predicate of its own every clause will have a subject and predicate for example he is a boy simple example he is subject is a boy is predicate naming part and telling part it will have every clause will have its own subject and predicate for example we subject cannot play predicate it subject is raining predicate any clause will have uh, its own subject and predicate uh, just learn what is a clause okay so i hope all these things are clear to you i repeat once again if you have more doubts uh, go to sgk english elementary english grammar and revise all the grammar lessons okay now thank you for watching meet you with another video goodbye